there will definitely be references in Bunker Hill Bunny that are completely lost on me. So I'm discussing this in kind of two ways. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon released in 1950, directed by Fritz Freelang, written by Ted Pierce. And we have Mel Blanc voicing Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny. And this is set during the American Revolutionary uh, War battle, um, the Battle of Bagel Heights. And I am going to admit that I know basically nothing about the American Revolution. And from what I've established from a quick Google, the Battle of Bagel Heights is itself not a real thing, but these are based on individuals who battled in the American Revolution. Sam is a, a Hessian mercenary and Bugs Bunny is an American Minuteman. And this is about the extent of my knowledge. So I'm perfectly willing to admit that there will be things in this that mean nothing to me. If there's anything interesting or anything you think I should know about this cartoon, um, please feel free to educate me. I'd love to learn more about the American Revolution. I might see if there's a, a brief guide to in the Oxford series. That might be quite interesting to read. But the reason I'm explaining this is because my thoughts and opinions on this are probably going to be vastly different to anybody who actually knows about the American Revolution, which is probably the majority of people watching this, I'll be honest, um, watching the, the cartoon, that is. Um, so I'm viewing it not as a representation of the American Revolution. I'm well aware that it's a fictitious representation and not to be taken as a fact. So is it enjoyable if you know nothing about the, the subtext? Yes, it is. Basically, you have quite a small um, space of green and at either side you have um, bunkers or or um, castlements where Yosemite Sam is in one and Bugs Bunny is in the other. And they're constantly firing things at each other, running back and forth, trying to steal each other's land. And ultimately, ultimately the question, of course, is who's going to win? Who's going to defeat the other person, if anybody? And how will they win? I won't say how it concludes. I will say it's unpredictable. I had no idea... I mean being a Warner Brothers fan and knowing generally how Bugs Bunny cartoons end up, I had a, a rough idea of what might happen, but it is generally pretty unpredictable. I really like Bugs' cleverness, his craftiness. I feel like Yosemite Sam's definitely the more violent of the two characters, but Bugs Bunny is a lot clever, or a lot more clever and a lot craftier and is able to um, often, maybe not always, but often outsmart his opponent. Bunker Hill Bunny is definitely something I'd like to revisit once I gain more knowledge about the American Revolution and about what, or rather the role of Hessian mercenary and Minutemen were like and see if I come back to it and have a different perspective. But just judging it on the surface, I enjoyed it. I thought it was well enough animated. The pacing was really good. It's um, very quick paced and it's constantly on the go. Even though the backgrounds don't change often, the scenery, the location is all kind of in the same place. So we're not traveling much with the cartoon, but that doesn't slow it down at all. I do think Bunker Hill Bunny, if you know nothing about the American Revolution, is one you're probably going to enjoy. I'd love to know what you think if you actually know a lot about the American Revolution. Did you like it or is it just a ludicrous interpretation? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Bunker Hill Bunny for me was not a bad watch.